house. This is my studio. It has a you know bedroom and bathroom, so when the kids come in, they they got the whole place. And I have uh, you know I have easels for my grandchildren. Yeah. Come in and paint. So yeah, it's great. I mean I I couldn't I couldn't buy space anywhere that's just big or just nice. You can get far enough away to see my work. And, yeah. Yeah, you won't. I've been in other studios, you know, um, outside of home kind of thing, but they're not big enough, you know, and you can't, I don't know, I just love this. I mean, I'm pretty much every day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing either here or, or uh, clay work I do in um, Debbie Westerfield, Marsha Cohn's studio on Manchester Street. Mm -hmm. And they have a table for me, and I just, you know, I do my stuff there. Oh, I know that. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice that they like me to do that. Um, I I graduated in art from UK, and one of my classes was in clay, mm. and we did all sorts of things, and then we ended up doing a head of the person next to us, that kind of thing. Right? Yeah. Mine was Barbara Morgan, and I was several years ago. I finally gave it to her. Sit here, but. But then my kids were getting older, and um, this is when we were in Gainesway. I had the garage door open in the car there and said, sit, <laughs> on top of the hood. And I did both their heads when they were two, you know. So, and I'll show that to you when we go upstairs if you want. But um, it, because it was clay that you put in the oven, I couldn't find a kiln anywhere for this. So it was that kind of clay. Um, I couldn't get the whole head. So I got, I got you know, the front part of yeah. the neck. I like to I like to spend some time in one media at a time. You know, it's yeah. kind of hard to do one right. you know, that kind of thing. But um, I've done other things. I've done ballet designs, sets, painted and done those. Um, I've done other graphics, like you know, I've talked with KT. Mm -hmm. And then um, I also work in the administrative side. I worked with what was what's now Lex Arts wow. in its beginning time, yeah. and I was media media liaison yeah. for all the arts. Right. And with the media, that was fun. I really wow. enjoyed it. But it, part time doesn't work. I'm always full time at part time. I, I do little bitty th line drawing sketches, and um, and that's where the paintings come from. But anyway, we were on the river, and KUT was doing this, you know, this thing. So and I went out and did a little sketch. Well, from that, um, the, the video videographer they said, I want to come in and do something on your studio. So he came in, and, and so KUT's done something. I haven't, I've only seen it once. It doesn't repeat itself like the boat thing does. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. yeah. From the very beginning, well, I was always drawing. And, you know, you get the garden club or the this or the that or the other, because they come in and do a poster for me or do a whatever. So that's that's kind of where it went. And then I didn't do anything during, uh, I lived in Charleston, West Virginia. No museums, no galleries, no, no nothing for visual arts. Just no, you know. No, no, nothing to you know to prompt you to keep on going. So when I went to college, I thought, well, I'm just going to major in art and see what happens because I didn't know. I loved it, got my best grades in it. So I graduated from UK, um, for I met Frank. <laughs> but then, uh, you know, uh, we went to Africa for two years, East Africa, Tanzania, and a USAID project. And I did some paintings there and sold one actually there. Um, they came back and, you know, started having kids. <laughs> it kind of slows you down a little bit. Um, but then um, I, I started meeting with, uh, with other artists, different places, doing drawing and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And, and then, you know, I was doing just kind of, kind of regular stuff and it, it branched off a little bit. You can see that one over there with the rocks in it. And, uh, Mm -hmm. And most, and then prior to that, I started really vivid colors, and then I went into a yellow period of abstraction, because that's what they were doing back then in abstract. So I was doing yellow, and this whole most everything else is is gone. But um, but then you know, and then I started that business because I love the mountains and the land, and I've always been close to it. I love to just go sit someplace, you know, and be a part of it. But then I thought, well, you know, I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. I want to find who I am. So my dad grew up, well, he didn't actually grow up on this farm. He was older, but his siblings grew up on it in West Virginia. And there was a big house, and then there was a cabin. And uh, all the siblings had left, and the parents had gone, but grandparents had left this to all of her, her grandchildren. 
So I would go down there for four weeks at a time and just explore and push, you know, and, and that's where I came up with my own colors. And I did three or four years in a row, you know, for several weeks. And um, people seem to like them, so that's, that's where this came from. Yeah, so I've always been in the arts, I've always been. Uh, Kentucky Arts Council. Well, Kentucky Craft. Kentucky Crafted. Yeah. Yeah. I started back in Louisville when they first introduced the visual arts. And it was called Visual Arts at the Market. Right. Uh, I wasn't the first year, but the second or third year, Twilight Martins and I had a booth together. And we did that for several years um, until, you know, I had back troubles and I just I couldn't do it. Yeah. So got those fixed and you know, everything's working, but but then I came back to Lexington and I did it. I did real well. It took a couple of years for the Louisville crowd to understand that there's right. people here other than the crafted people, right. Right. and that maybe it's a little different kind of work that's here, like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> New Editions Gallery handles my work. Mm -hmm. that's in fact, she's I've got some pieces there right now, and in, in a show called Grid Works. Mm -hmm. um, she, what she did, she did this before, but she asked her several artists, to, many artists, to do 12 by 12, four of them. Doesn't matter what, just do them. So, and then she hangs them in a grid, you know, like, and all of them are put on a grid on a wall, on several walls. It might have sold really well. And they, they sold out the first time she did this, five years ago, I think, and then this year I've sold three. So, I like, and the colors I like to be. I, I like warm stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and I like it to be, um, I like to be some movement in it. So I use contemporary colors a lot, balancing off each other. Um, um, I have several tubes, a lot of different tubes, but I mix pretty much on the canvas. Oh. Yeah, I'll take, you know, this color and then I'll work that color in it and, yeah. That seems to work best for me now. I mix the colors and put it on there, but it's just, then I'll start in there putting another color. So and I want them to be exciting. I want them to be dynamic, um, and I want them to be warm. But a lot of people said they're happy paintings. Oh, they are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that I like. You know, I like that. It gets good. So and then some of them will sit around like these two are sitting around right now because um, I don't know where they're going to go yet. I'm not finished with them, and I never do. I, I there's an, there would be no way to to try to replicate a painting. Because I, you know, because of the way I paint, I can't do that. Um, now I have done for well for um, new editions. She had some people that wanted to, they liked this painting and they wanted it in this size, two of them or three or whatever, um, or one. And, but they wanted a different size, a special size, and used primarily a couple of colors for sure. And I've done that, you know. But that's a, that's. That's working, and it's not it's not constricting me. Mm -hmm. You know, it it's kind of it's kind of fun actually to step out of your you know your path, your boundary, and, and do stuff like that. That's mm -hmm. kind of fun. And I like goo. I like messy goo. I don't like you know real strict lines and stuff. <laughs> messy goo. Is messy that the, goo. Is that the yeah. Part? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that's, you know, when I'm starting in with a color and I'll, and I'll add another color and I'll mix it around and stuff and then some other color and that kind of stuff. So I, ne I never know what's going to come out. I never know. Now, when I first start out, I'll have the drawing from the sketch briefly on there mm -hmm. with, with charcoal. I like, you know, when I do the drawings and we're traveling someplace and I always have a little sketch pad, you know, and I'd sketch and I always like mountains. Somehow like ledges. Something you see those are always ledges. Mm -hmm. um, but what I really want to do is an interpretation. And when I when I first started out, you know, making making this these kinds of work, I really like the earth. I really like, you know, landscapes just mm -hmm. being in it. Um, like on the farm when I was down there, I'd just get in the, you know, in a, right beside a big hay field and just, just feel really good. But what I want people to see is the beauty of the earth. I want, I want, really want to push that, you know, because it's, it's all we have, you know. And, um, and people say, well, you know, I don't see that color anywhere. But guess what? It's there. I've seen that color. 
in the sky. I've seen it, you know, in the land. I've seen it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's there. You just, you know, pay attention to it. <laughs>